Watching Jared Cook play this last season, it's really remarkable to me that he's been in the league for so long and it's taken him this long to break out. While he had a solid season last year, he definitely was much improved this season and even made a Pro Bowl out of it. One of the things that makes Jared Cook so effective is how he pairs with Derek Carr. And I'll show you what I mean with this play. As you see, the Steelers are running a cover 3 zone and this is the route concept that the Raiders will be running. Derek Carr is great at reading plays and figuring out who's going to be open. And so he's going to see on this play that Jared Cook could get open for a few yards right in front of those Steelers defenders. You can't really play a soft zone like the Steelers did on this play against the Raiders as Derek Carr can pick those apart. So you'd think the real way to beat the Raiders is by running a lot of man coverage. However, that's where Jared Cook comes in. It's very difficult to play man-on-man -man coverage against a guy who's 6'5", 250 pounds, and runs routes like a receiver. It also makes things easier for the Raiders when they already know it's man coverage going in. As you see on this play, the Steelers have a linebacker lined outside along with Jared Cook. This is pretty much always going to mean man coverage as you would never have a linebacker out there in zone. You're going to see Derek Carr audible something at the line and he even turns to Cook and says something to him to make sure that Cook knows what the play is. As you see, that linebacker is now pressing, which is perfect for Oakland as Jared Cook is running a go route. The Steelers are applying pressure as they have 5 men rushing the car on display. However, Carr isn't even concerned about that. He's looking to Cook all the way. He knows that Cook is very likely going to be open, and so he's going to throw in that direction, and Cook's able to make a great catch for a big game. He was actually even getting interfered with, but still made to play, which just shows how talented of a guy he is. If you press against Jared Cook in man coverage, it can be very bad news, as he can easily get over you. However, if you don't, it can be bad news as well. On this play, Pittsburgh's actually running the exact same play they ran last time, which is a cover one linebacker blitz. And as you see, that's the route that Jared Cook's going to be running. It's the perfect way to beat man coverage, really, as there's a quick cut to the middle of the screen. But since in a cover one linebacker blitz, there's not anyone playing zone in that middle of the screen, this is now going to make things a lot easier for Cook to get open. The defender in charge of guarding Cook is playing a lot farther back, which really just isn't a good decision for him, as now Cook is able to get open and he's able to pick up a catch for an easy gain. He doesn't really have to try here. This is like giving Steph Curry plenty of space to shoot a three. It's just not a smart decision. While he can beat you over the top, you still have to force him to beat you over the top, or he's going to beat you every time. Let's take a look at another man coverage play, and once again, you can pretty much tell it's man coverage by the way that the Steelers have four defenders pressing, and three of them on the top half of the screen, which typically you wouldn't do in zone. This is the route that Cook's going to be running, and once again, it's a good way to beat man coverage. But what's really interesting about this play is look at the defender in charge of guarding Cook. He's going to try to make contact with Cook, but that fails miserably. Cook is so much bigger and stronger than just about everyone on the field, and so he's able to just run by him and ends up getting wide open. The contact didn't even really slow him down. The only purpose it served was getting that Steelers defender more out of position, and Cook was able to make an even easier catch. Cook's career has certainly taken a turn for the best, and the way he played last year, I can easily see his career continue in that upward swing. 